What are the closing costs you need to know about when selling your house? That's the topic of my next video. How much money do you actually net after you walk away from that closing table? That's the topic of this video right now. My name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. I'm going to give you some base, a basic understanding of the fees that are involved. In general, it's about 6 to 10% of the actual cost of your house, whatever you sold that house for. Subtract 6 to 10% of that so what does that six to ten percent incur number one your biggest payment or your biggest deduction will be your existing mortgage if you still have a certain amount of money left on that existing mortgage the at the closing table the bank wants it so you're going to know ahead of time you'll get a payoff letter from the bank they'll tell you how much that is going to be and expect to pay a little more because your interest is accruing every day so up to the point that you actually close they will tell you this is how much you need to bring most of the time in a certified check but make sure you clear that with your attorney ahead of time number two is your actual brokerage fees the brokerage fees are paid in the transaction even though the buyer brings the money for the house you have agreed as the seller how much that brokerage fee will be for both the buyer and the seller side so that fee will be deducted as well property taxes you're going to be paying as a seller prorated property taxes whenever you paid your taxes last they're going to take that amount <clears throat> do some simple math and you're going to have to also pay your taxes up to the date that you have uh, given up the ownership of your property. So let's go on to some other fees, not as large, but definitely part of the transaction. Attorney fees. In uh, on Long Island particularly, you need to have attorneys, both the buyers and the sellers. Outside of Long Island, upstate New York, you don't need attorneys at the actual closing table to do the closings, but I highly suggest you get them. So you have the attorney fees. The seller only pays the seller's attorney fees. The buyer will pay their own. Um, escrow. What is escrow? Well, escrow means when you put money aside in a secured location, a secured account, until they actually transfer hands. The buyer puts the down payment, uh, usually gives it to their attorney, puts it in an escrow account where it won't can't be touched until it is transferred over to the seller. That is a service that is paid for. That could be paid for by either the buyer or the seller, or it could be split up to you to work at with your attorney who's going to be paying that escrow fee. If you're moving into a particular development that has a HOA or a homeowner association fees, that's another fee you're going to incur. The seller has to pay for any utilities that they used up to that point. If you have gas, you're going to pay your gas bill up to the day you move out, whatever that date might be. If you have oil in your tank and you just filled your oil tank up as the seller, they're going to measure the, the amount of oil that's in the tank and the buyer will pay for whatever amount of gallons are left in the tank. So that would be a check coming in to the actual seller and they will make sure that is fair. So you only pay for what is um, the, the buyer is only paying for what's left in that tank. Electric, again, utilities, you're going to have to call the utility company and tell them you're going to shut off your accounts on this day and at that time, and they will then transfer the account over to the new person or the new owner of the house, so you'll only be paying up to the day you move out. And lastly, you're going to need to be paying moving expenses. Your moving truck, this is a good thing. You have already predetermined how much that would be. You probably moved everything out of your house ahead of time. That fee most likely has already been paid, but those are some basic fees that you will be incurring to give you a basic understanding. If you are looking to sell in now or in the near future, definitely click the link down below for that free seller's guide they're offering. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something today, and I'll see you on the next video.